Hi everybody, welcome to the most excellent Sniper Elite 5 and this is going to be my quick start beginner's guide. I'm not going to be going really deep into the game like I normally do. This is more like a quick introduction for those who aren't really familiar with the mechanics behind the Sniper Elite games. Just, to, just enough to get you started to kind of understand what's going on and then you can further your research either in the game or looking at other YouTube videos by myself or other um other content creators so first off we're just going to click play and we're just going to look at the different options you have within sniper elite 5 so we've got the campaign we're going to work our way through these massive levels following the storyline axis invasion this is where you actually play as a german and you will go into somebody else's single player or co-op campaign to hunt them down and kill them which is pretty cool and then you've got survival. Now, survival is Sniper Elite's horde mode. Once you're familiar with the basics of shooting in Sniper Elite, I highly recommend you go into survival, put it on one of the fairly easy settings, and just play it because you'll get much, much better at the at the shooting in Sniper Elite because there's not that much stealth in survival. You get waves of uh, enemies coming at you, and you've just got to try and stay alive. And you've got the multiplayer, which consists of lots of different... Um, oh, let's just come out of that which consists of lots of different types of games. Um, yeah, I mean, check that out. But the main thing with Sniper Elite, for me, it's really about the campaign, and it's about survival mode, because I tend to be playing by myself. Now let's take a step back and have a look at loadout and uh, customization. Now as you play Sniper Elite, the various parts of it, you'll be able to go in and, and change what you start the game with. So we've got campaign, access... Uh, invasion survival and multiplayer so if we go into the campaign we can see that my starting loadout is the srem1 um, and i have unlocked some armor piercing bullets for it that i can start the campaign with when i go into a level so let's have a look at the well gun smg if i go into customize I could then take, yeah, some armor piercing in. So always come back and have a look at the loadout and customization in between when, when you're playing, just see if there's any new options. And also when you're in the game, you'll come across um, workbenches where you can do the same thing. Now we also have our skill points that you can earn and you can put them into one of three sort of skill trees. So I've got one point at the moment. So let's put them into, let's have a look at combat. What could we put it into? Secondary weapons can be used while incapacitated. Enemies are scope tag when they damage you. That's quite good, actually. Grenade throwback, steady hand. I like that one. So we'll go into that one. So you can continue to be leveling up your leveling up your character. So that's kind of the basics of, of your setup. So let's jump into, uh, let's carry on with the campaign. And um, this is just the first level. And I just want to show you the, the core concepts be behind how you proceed through a Sniper Elite campaign level so that you'll have a lot of fun and you kind of understand what's going on. The most important thing to remember with Sniper Elite is that it is a stealth game. And especially in Sniper Elite 5, they have ramped up um, the abilities of the AIs to kill you um, in terms of the techniques they use and the tactics they use in terms of flanking to get around behind you, um, bringing in reinforcements if they set off the alarms, um, and you can't shoot your way out of trouble, even on something like the Marksman medi um, medium level, um, than you could on previous games. So here we are. We're kind of at the start position of a level. I haven't started at the default position because as you play uh, the, through the campaign, you discover different places where you can start the mission to give you, you know, a different flavour of that particular mission. But one of the things you, you, your main goal really when you start a mission is to find a vantage point or get yourself into a position where you can reconnaissance the area, and that's where you get your binoculars out on console. You click in your right stick, and what we're looking to do is, if you look in my mini map in the sort of bottom left-hand corner of the screen, if I turn it, you might be able to. See, can you see like those the cloud by the question mark? And what that what's that's doing is telling me that there's an enemy there. Not quite sure what where, but there's an enemy. So what we need to be doing is tagging these enemies to turn those clouds into markers so we know the exact location of an enemy and the direction they're going in. So as you're going through a level, you always want to be attempting to remove all of the clouds and turn them into enemy markers so you know exactly where enemies are. So let's zoom in. Let's put this guy in the middle. Let's start 
tagging them. So is that one there? That one there. So you see how the cloud disappeared? And now we know exactly where those enemies are. And just, if you're playing on the medium difficulty like this, where you can zoom in and out with the binoculars, you can have a really good look round. Right, so that guy there, he's very dangerous. He's a sniper. You'll want to take him out at an early opportunity if you can. So let's see if we can see anybody else. All right, there's another guy there. And where there's one, there's normally another. Right. We can also tag items in the world because lots of the things in Sniper Elite will blow up and help you to kill enemies. There we go. That, there, that's ammunition that will explode. Okay, so we've now made it a little bit easier to make our way through this area because we know exactly where the enemies are, we know which way they're facing, and that means that we can be on the other side of them when we're trying to creep through. So now let's take a let's come out of the broken. Let's just take a quick look at the um, resources we've got available. So obviously we've got our sniper rifle um, here. We can zoom in and out, and if we press the top right shoulder button, we'll hold our breath. And what that little marker does is that when we're going to get a definite kill, it goes red. You can't hold your breath for too long. Um, if we click left on our D-pad, we've got our silenced pistol. Just bear in mind that until you put the subsonic rounds in the pistol, um, it is still quite loud. And then we tap right on the D-pad and we've got the submachine gun. If we, ha if we press and hold our uh, top left shoulder button, we then get our... Uh, equipment wheel so here we can see all the different things that we can use and if you select to pick up a particular item and then let go if you look in the bottom right corner you now see we've got the bandage up here as if i go down to the grenade oop. if you look in the bottom right corner i've now got the grenade and that means that when you've got that particular item if you press and hold the top right shoulder button you then have the option to throw that particular thing or use that particular thing now a really interesting thing in sniper elite 5 is we we've got the whistle where you go and that will attract enemies to you but now we have bottles so with the glass bottles you throw them into locations and that will distract enemies now unlike the stones that we had in sniper elite 4 and sniper elite 3 these are a consumable that you will run out of so you do need to keep topping them up as you're using them and then we've got things like uh, foot uh, mines and we've got the teller mines so these are really cool for if you're being chased or you just want to booby trap a uh, uh, an area you can put a mine down and when the enemies get there oh look look what we got here there we go we've got a motorcycle and sidecar as we're going through now here's the map so this is me here there and at the moment we've only really got two objectives we've got destroy this radar uh, installation here and then we've got to find and kill this guy here so in this one we've got to search around this sort of this small town to find this chap and kill him as you are playing the level though you will discover th uh, information that will open up other uh, tasks to do within the uh, within the level some of them are optional some of them aren't when you've done all the key objectives within a level you'll then get uh, an exit uh, part arrive and at that point you can choose to leave the level and then you can move on through the uh, through the game sort of sort of to the next part of campaign um, so what we can do now is if we slide down here so here's carl so with carl you know we can stand up we can crouch and we can lie down now long grass is really cool um because it stops enemies from seeing you and also once you've killed enemies you can pick them up and you can throw them in the long grass grass so their buddies won't find them so again a key concept in sniper elite is not really trying to shoot everybody it's slowly stealthing your way through to get yourself an opportunity where you can take out the enemies in a situation where you can take them out unseen so their buddies aren't, aren't going to see you killing them so that they won't uh, become alarmed and start chasing you now the enemies that you're coming up against will have sort of different levels of alertness so at the moment that none of them know i'm here um, so they're all white and they're just wandering around if they sort of hear something they'll then start looking for me um, and that generally they'll go into a yellow state um, 
if they've seen me they'll go into red state and they'll start hunting me down and then what you'll see is on the mini map you'll see like a uh, a red marker which shows you where they think you are at that point you really need to relocate uh, without them seeing you so that they then go oh right where is where is he gone and they'll keep hunting around for a while eventually they will go back to a, a suspicious state and eventually they'll go back to a normal state but if that does happen say and then they find another dead body they'll then go back to that high alert state so you kind of have this um pendulum as you're playing through the level of everything's going okay something will happen enemy will see you they'll go to high alert they'll shout to their buddies they'll come hunting you might have a little firefight sometimes and then you'll kill them all and maybe the alert state will go back to quiet or um you will evade them and it will go back go back that way so here are the things i need to bear in mind as i'm coming through this little level is we've got the chap kind of there at the pill box looking that way so we really need to do something with him we've got this chap who's wandering around and then we have also got the sniper we've got to be careful these have got long vision also if you see an officer the guy with the caps they can see a long way as well so what i'm thinking about now is can we distract this guy over here somewhere so where we can take him out or should we just go completely around this area first so i think what we should do is we should probably wait until this chap does whatever what he's doing he's writing something down isn't he what's he writing down right a letter he's picking his nose Here comes a truck. Now we could blow that up if we wanted. Okay, so the guy writing the letter isn't kind of moving. Right, so he's gone. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make sure we've got the bottle selected. And we're gonna throw a bottle over here and see if we can track that guy. Oop, I'll put a bind down if by mistake. Let's just defuse that. Right, so he's now gone, ooh, what's that over there? Lucky it's far enough away from this guy, where he's not. Right, so he's gonna go and have a look. So now we can choose, are we gonna melee kill him, or are we gonna shoot him with our silenced pistol? It's always safer to shoot people if you can. So we're gonna creep behind him. And we're gonna, actually we'll melee kill this guy. And then we're going to pick him up. Oop, we're just going to pick him up first. We're going to come over here. We're going to throw him in the grass. So he's hidden. And then we're going to search his body now, where it's nice and safe. Oop, no, no. Just search his body, please. Don't want to pick him up again. Cool. There goes another sidecar. And a camp wagon. So now we've got this guy here we've got to deal with. Now do you see that little arc that appeared? That's because he could kind of see us. There we go. So he can kind of see us, but if we get down here, he won't see us again. So this guy's interesting. So do we go... So maybe we think about going around the long way... Now, as I'm running, have a look at in the mini map in the bottom left hand corner, you see that as I move, see the lighter circle in the middle surrounding me kind of gets bigger. That's my noise um, balloon, if you like. That's my uh, noise area. So if I'm noisy, enemies will see me, uh, hear me, sorry, and then investigate. So you have to be very careful. So not only do they have their vision cones where they're looking for you, but they also have their sound so while we're, while we're over here let's just do a quick search just to make sure nobody's going to creep up on us a giveaway would be those uh, clouds that we would see which way is he facing so he's facing away so we can creep up on this guy this way now we know that he's probably going to turn around in a minute Let's get let's just get a sh uh, shoot kill using the pistol on his head. There we 
Okay. Let's pick him up. Just hide him over here. And now let me just search him. Okay, cool. So we've kind of cleared this particular area here. We could go and change over to his weapon. So the next thing I want, I'm thinking about is I want to take out this sniper over here. Now, as we said, noise is so important in Sniper Elite because enemies will, will set you off. But what we're going to do, for the sake of um, showing you how to do a long distance shot, we're going to take over this guy. Now, see how it kind of flares up? That means he's looking in my direction. We're only playing on marksman level here, so he's probably not going to be able to see me. But occasionally, around the area, you will find trucks and you'll find generators that you can and various pieces of equipment that you can sabotage and they will then start making a noise you will also get aircraft going overhead that will create noise or guns going off that will create noise if you shoot an enemy while that noise is going on um, it won't uh, most of the time it won't tell uh, the, the enemies around you what you've done so that's very important to use kind of um, the stuff that's in the environment to mask what you're doing so let's get our sniper out now the other thing you could do is if I had um, silent rounds I could swap to them and there's subsonic and different types of rounds for all the different weapons which we you will come across so let's uh, take aim at this guy and remember we're going to use the we're going to tap RB and we're going to get that little reticle up like that and that tells us we're going to get a kill you can only do that for a few seconds though before you run out of breath so let's get this guy so let's RB line it up pull the trigger and for most people this is what sniper elite is all about Okay, so, gunshot heard. People would have heard that. You see the, the white marker on my minimap, that triangle that's spinning around? That means the enemies will think I am there. Also, now, over at the radar, where I'm going, as his buddies find his body, they will then go into a high st of a state of alert and be looking for me when I'm coming. <laughs> so, <laughs> you have to bear all of these things in mind. Right, so my next part really is to head over there and take out this, take out enemy, out any enemies on the way. And remember, be on the lookout for those clouds. Right, okay, so here we got a cloud coming in. See that yellow cloud? That is an enemy that is alert and is looking around because they heard the gun. So we've got to be careful now. So that's someone who is searching for me. Now, I don't know where they are. There he is. Here we go, so they're searching the area. So again, I want to turn this yellow cloud into markers so we know exactly where each enemy soldier is. So we can take that, so it's probably one on the other side of this bush. Okay, so they've, they've gone down in their alert level and again, oh, okay, we don't know where this guy is. Let's stop searching for him. And that, my friends, is the core to the sniper elite experience for me anyway you could go in gun blazing but i think taking it slow doing the reconnaissance changing those um probability clouds into definite markers for where the enemies are and just being really deliberate in your actions um it just makes this game so 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 special so what do you think if you found the video useful hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon <laughs>